Dance puts me in a place of awe. I started taking dance in college. Okay, besides taking gymnastics as a kid and doing kick lines wearing saddle shoes to celebrate good times, come on, on the pom-pom squad in high school. But dance, proper dance, I started at the University of Oregon. And if I would have had any more time out of architecture school, I would have at least minored in it. I took it all but ended up pursuing modern because it was the most abstract, loose, conceptual, expressive, and it resonated with me the most. I had a couple teachers that I resonated with, in fact, so much that in the past 10 years, I haven't found anything like it or them. I didn't move, per se, like the other dancers. I hadn't grown up in ballet. I couldn't necessarily remember the choreography after the first 30 seconds of subtle explanation. I learned to and continue to learn to dance like I learned to drive a stick shift. Clunky. It's clunky because I don't operate in a one, two, three form. I fumble until it clicks. Then, so guttural. It moves me and I love it. I love being in that space. I love singing, I love dancing, I love making the gesture I know I need to make. This overwhelming need to come in sync with the giant gesture I feel I am so often trying to make. Dancing is the portal for me. Movement is the portal. Sorry, I think I'm having a bit of a personal epiphany. Dance, as medium, helps transfer ourselves back to ourselves, as it is so easy to get lost in the crowd. It is like being in a sanctuary, even if that dance is in the middle of the streets of Chicago, the bathrooms of the Berlin subway, subway, or in your own living room. I'm trying to describe the space one gets into, this deep guttural connection, which is, I think, the best space to be in on Earth. Okay, I just watched Elizabeth Gilbert's TED Talk, and I have to admit it made me cry. She's talking about those moments where you feel so in sync with your creativity, with yourself maybe, with your authentic self in the medium of whatever that may be, where in that moment you're, you let the genius, the muse, the greater spirit and being come in and move you to the point where you're literally letting it move you, to the point where you feel so incredibly embodied but your feet are moving without any conscious effort on your part. Your fingers are madly dancing across the keyboard as you kind of watch yourself in a bit of awe while at the same time feeling completely grounded. It's the technicality sinking deeper, getting lost, and the fire taking over. Yet powerful as it is, it is a deeply calm space, an empowered space, a humbly sweet and beautiful space, a healing space, a gorgeous space.